Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here, back with a new short movie. The name of this short movie is What if Naruto was reincarnation of a demon lord and yeah guys, it's a story suggested to me by, by a Mongo god. It's one of our subscribers, shout out to you my guy and happy birthday to you as well. I hope you are happy with this and yeah, it's an unscripted movie as well. Now before continuing this, if you haven't then please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and don't worry I'm still working on many many projects and they're in the process of making and some of the projects are quite difficult because they are modern or some of them are based on movies. That is why it's taking time, I hope you understand and other than that, without further ado, let's begin with our story. Story begins at the valley of the end, as we see 13 year old Nard Uzumaki, bleeding badly as he was in mid-air, lightning crackling behind his back as an uh, arm was shoved straight through his shoulder. It was Sasuke Uchiha, his best friend in second curse mark state, thanks to Orochimaru. A cruel smirk on his face was plastered. Don't you see dope? This is the worth of our bond. I don't care about you or Konoha. All I care about is Itachi. You were useless as was Konoha to me. You was merely a tool that I needed to use. Hmm. And you have ful fulfilled your usefulness, Dobe. You helped me achieve the next level of Sharingan. And for that I must thank you. Now go and be forgotten in the depths of ocean forever. As Sasuke kicked Naruto, as Naruto began to fall, freeing Sasuke's hand with a squenched sound as his eyes started to turn emotionless, soulless, as Naruto was drowning in the ocean. On the other side, Sasuke turned around very happily that he was able to achieve what he wanted, the power to take down his brother. But before he could go, he was stabbed in the back by Kakashi. K Kakashi, what are you doing here? Kakashi didn't say anything and neck choked, neck choked Sasuke into unconsciousness as he summoned a clone after putting a suppression seal on him, taking him back to the council. As he then jumped down into the water to save Naruto. As Naruto was brought out, something happened in front of Kakashi. A huge red energy escaped Naruto's body as Naruto levitated in mid-air. The QB, it broke free. As the QB growled, its malicious chakra was released and so was its killer intent that could be felt all the way back to Konoha, the civilians, the shinobis, and Tsunade herself was shocked. She knew what was happening now. As on the other side, back at the valley of the end, the QB was released as it roared. But Naruto's body was still levitating. And suddenly the hole in his chest started to heal. And Naruto was breathing again. But once he opened his eyes, it had a pattern in them. It was the pattern of the demon lord. Anos Voldigard. Hmm, I thought I died by the hands of Hero, said Anos. But why am I reincarnated here? As Anos regained memories of Naruto. <laughs> Humans can never be able to change. They are just too much full of themselves. Can't even think past their hatred. Can't even understand what other beings feel. So you are the reason of this child's torment, said Anos as he looked towards the QB. As a huge red mag magic circle appeared above it, as QB looked above, what is this monstrosity? As the QB then looked into Naruto's eyes, who are you? You're not this flashback that was my jailer. Hmm. You call yourself a demon, right? Hmm. Let me introduce myself. I am your lord. Demon lord. Anos Voldigord. As huge lightning crackled down, it was black lightning. The first time Kakashi has ever seen. As the QB roared in pain and agony. Its screams were heard back in Konoha as well. As the council and every civilian and shinobi alike felt shiver run down their spines. As Kagashi who was witnessing this firsthand almost shit bricks in his pants as in front of him QB disintegrated into nothingness. Snarto levitated down from the air. He looked towards Kagashi. Hmm. You are this child sensei right? 
Who, who are you and what have you done to Naruto? <laughs> As I have said, this child is my reincarnation. I have died in my own plane and I was reincarnated here. Don't worry, I, uh, I was able to save the child's soul. We are going to merge soon, but I will come out only when the child needs my protection. Said Onos. You didn't ask, answer my question. Who are you? Are you deaf? Didn't you hear me? I said I am Anos Voldigord, the Demon Lord. As Kakashi's eyes widened, they were dealing with a demon. But this Demon Lord person, if it what is what saying was true, then they were in deep shit now because they knew what they did to Naruto. If this being ever tried to get vengeance and justice for Naruto, they will be in that deep pits now and nobody can save them. As Naruto turned towards Konoha and started to march, Where are you going? Kakashi said. To get justice and revenge. As Kakashi jumped in front of him, in combat position, I'm sorry but I can't allow you to do that. Naruto and I are shinobi of that village and Naruto wouldn't want that. Hmm, I can change his mind. You know very well Harake, I can do that. How do you know my name? I have seen through his memories. I have known you. Sensei. And not only that, I know who his parents are. I have met their souls as well now, and they are enraged at what happened with their son. And I will get them justice. I will get them their revenge. As Anos made his hand levitate in air, as a small magic circle appeared at it, it was red. Now be gone! As Kakashi was teleported away. As the circle left Kakashi in Kumo's entrance. What? How am I here? Damn it! I have to go back! As Kakashi started to dash as fast as he could. Due to his low level chakra reserves at the time, he couldn't use Kamui at bigger scale or he would have died due to chakra exhaustion. It will take him two whole days to come back to Konoha if we dash there at full Jonin speed without any rest. And that is what he was going to do. He just hoped it wasn't too late. As Anno started to walk towards Konha. As he arrived at Konha's gates, Kakashi's clone has already delivered Sasuke unconscious. As Naruto began to walk, the civilians looked at him with sneers and anger, but they froze and started to cover in fear as the brat's eyes showed them that they demanded respect. The brat's walking posture demanded respect, as if a king was walking there. As Naruto looked at each and every one of them, and just spit it on the floor. Hmm, trash, all of you. Not worth even wasting my breath upon. Why don't I deal with the bigger figures first and then come to you all? Hmm, easy peasy. As he started to walk again, a stupid civilian came in front of him blocking his way. Out of my way, trash. You think you're mighty now, kid? Hmm. You're nothing but a demon pest that we have to bear, Ingil. As the man bursted into nothing but gore in front of everyone. As with a snap of Naruto's finger, he revived again. As the man was now shivering. What did you do to me? Be gone. As the man blasted again into gore. The civilians were horrified at what was hope happening in front of them. The Anbus, the Root, everyone was watching this. As Naruto revived the man again and splattered him in nothing but smear again and again and again until the people around him started to vomit and some of the weak-hearted passed out. And Naruto revived the man again. Please, please no more. I, I apologize. Please have mercy. Sorry. A lot of mercy. Naruto said, as he put a hand on the man's face, a lightning was discharged, burning him into crisps as Naruto began to walk over his dead body. As he was walking, he said, I wouldn't do if I was you. He said looking towards the shadow, it was Root who was pointing a kuna at him. I will have to deal with your master. I have to tell him that he should discipline his dogs. As a lightning struck from the sky towards the man, burning him into nothing but a skeleton. The civilians were scared. What happened to the brat that took their beating? This this wasn't how it was supposed to go. The brat was supposed to be their slave. N n not like this. 
did they really turn the kid into a demon? As Narada stopped and turned around. Huh, I'm not a demon. I'm a demon lord. As everyone gasped at this. As Narada started to levitate. As the civilians were filled with screams. As they started to dash away like headless chickens. As Narada chuckled. Huh, always a laugh. As Naruto started to walk on sky towards the council chambers, as Naruto could see him and so could the shinobi clan heads and the civilian council members and the elders. They were all afraid. Deep down, they saw what happened with the man. They all could see, but they couldn't believe their eyes. This was a Naruto. This was entirely someone else. And it wasn't QB, that was for sure. As Naruto entered through the window like he was a ghost, earning many guests from people. As Naruto summoned a throne from hell as it emerged at the center, causing the civilians to cover in fear as Naruto sat on it. Now, let's have a long chat, shall we, Hokage? As Naruto gulped, there was a moment of silence as she began, Who are you? I am the Demon Lord, Anos Voldigord. I am here to protect this kid and seek vengeance for him and justice. How do you expect us to believe that you are who you are? As Naruto just glared at Koharu and she bursted into smears and then Naruto revived her in front of everyone again. I can do this all day, forever. Now, I'm a man of patience but my patience is running thin because as I see the kids memories, my blood is boiling. Now, tell me, would we discuss this as civilized people or do you want this to do it the hard way as I demonstrated? As Koharu was quite terrified with the experience, she just died and was revived again. She didn't want to be a smear on a wall. Definitely not. Danza tried to manipulate Naruto, but Naruto suddenly with a snap of his finger did something as all of his bandage unveiled, revealing the Hashirama cells and all the Sharingan eyes, earning gross looks from everyone, as with another snap, a magic circle appeared. As from that magic circle, dead Uchiha's arrived, those whose eyes were taken by Danzo, as they started to steal their eyes back from Danzo's arm, grabbing it and extracting some chunk of its meat as well alongside their eyes. As finally, Shisui arrived and dragged a kunai in Danzo's skull as his eyes was dragged by his hand. Danzo was in deep pain and need of emergency assistance, as everyone was now in deep shock. As the Chihas returned back, the circle closed. Naruto said, Don't ever do that again, Danzo. <laughs> I might kill you. Now, would we like to continue or are there any more tricks? I get it, you're a demon lord, says Tsunade, but why are you with Naruto? Well, let's just say, when the Uchiha stabbed him twice straight through his heart and shoulder with that electric jutsu of his, the kid was at the verge of death. The QB was released, and so was I. You see, I was supposed to be this kid's reincarnation, where our souls were meant to be merged at my death in the other realm in which I died. but. Due to his parents' sealing process, I was sealed away, sealing my powers and consciousness and memories. Now that he was dying and the QB was free, I was released as well, and I healed him. His soul is still here attached to this body, and the part of his parents' soul arrived as well. As they saw the kid's memories before me, life, each and every one of your actions were like a picture caught it into Naruto's mind that they saw over and over again. They felt guilty, sad at what kind of choices they made regarding their son. And they had something to say to you, as with a snap of his finger, as Naruto sat comfortably on his throne, two figures arrived through that circle. It was undead Kushina and Minato. As Naruto lifted his head in the sky as a red-black circle arrived and summoned Shinigami as Naruto in front of everyone summoned a dark sword and shoved it in Shinigami's stomach. Shinigami screamed in agony as Naruto ripped Shinigami open and freed two souls as the Shinigami healed itself and was dragged back into the circle, escaping through it back to its realm. 
the souls went back to their bodies of the undead as Naruto then finally healed them with his mana as they were revived completely. Welcome to the world back for Hokage and Red Death. Now, would you like to talk about what happened to your son directly to them or would you like me to do the honors? Hmm. Can you give me my sword back? I would like to butcher some people here. I would like some kunais as well. Granted, as the kunais and the sword arrived, as they started to butcher the civilian council members, and they didn't sat there. After that, some of the onwoos, the jonins that stunted Narda's growth, the elders. And after that, this went on to the branch members of the various clans, and after that, the civilians, almost all of them, every one of them were butchered. Narda's friends were terrified as they arrived at the council what was happening. The fourth Okage arrived out of nowhere alongside a red-haired lady and started killing and massacring everyone. It was a large-scale massacre, just by two Ashtrang Shinobis, two parents who were enraged at what happened to their son. When their trust was broken, this is the consequence that Konoha must face. As they arrived to see Naruto sitting on a throne, but he was different. As Sakura then said, Naruto Baka, you, but before she could say anything, a force field arrived as Naruto looked at her and shoved her straight through the wall as she was engraved there. She couldn't move a muscle. Shut up, harlot. You scream like a banshee and burn my ears. For that, I will take away your whole voice box. As Naruto, with a magic circle, locked Sakura's voice. She couldn't speak anymore. She tried to scream, but she couldn't. Sakura started to cry. As Ino said, Naruto, why did you do that to Sakura? Wasn't she your teammate? I'm not Naruto. Can't you see? I am the demon lord on a swaldy god now. Naruto is not here now. I am. And you will give me the respect I demand or I will make you. As Ino, before she could speak, was kneeling in front of Naruto. She couldn't move a muscle. As Ano smirked. <laughs> You know, all this dieting, all the beauty products that you wasted upon you, you could have turned your life into something else, become a nice clan head, a better shinobi, as Inichi was scared for his daughter's fate, but yet he became nothing but a fangirl, a fangirl of a traitor, a traitor who stabbed his tutori straight through his friend's heart twice. <laughs> so much for a choice for a husband material, aren't I right, Inoichi-san? But Ari is a bitch, a first A-class level bitch. Ino's eyes widened when her dad agreed with Naruto. She started to cry. How could her dad agree with him? What was going on? As she came out and said, Oh my god, you damn blonde idiot. What a drag. Huh, looks like the lazy Nara caught on. Very smart of you, Shikamaru. I'm not your friend. I am his reincarnate. I am. On a Swaldigord, the demon lord from another realm. I am above all demons. Above your so called Bijus. I can destroy them. If you don't believe, I'll ask him. As on cue, the door busted open and it was Kakashi, who was there panting. Okage sama, I. What have you done? Why is there so much blood everywhere? You could have resolved this some uh, somewhere else, and some nice way. With a civilia, civil, civilized manner. Naruto didn't want this. You you brought this all by yourself. Who gave you the right to judge? Who gave the right to judge Naruto to them, Hatake? Answer me this. Who gave you the right to abandon your sense's son to fulfill your friend's dying wish? Who gave you the right to put favorites in your student when your sense taught you to? Who gave you the right of being a hypocrite after teaching us that those who abandoned the mission are trash but those who abandoned comrades, friends and teammates are worse than trash. As there was a silence, as Kakashi couldn't speak, as suddenly there was a yellow flash as Kushina and Minato were standing there, all covered in blood. Naruto were leaving. As Tsunade then said, Stop! Please! Wait! Tsunade, stay out of this. As Shirai arrived. Minato, please listen, as without 
a second thought, Minato dashed and kicked Jiraiya straight through the council chambers. As Jiraiya landed on the floor in front of Konoha's gates. The kick was so powerful. Whoa, I enhanced your physical capabilities. Pa, Ma, can I call you that? Since I'm your son's reincarnate. Hmm, fine by us. As in the mindscape, Naruto was still unconscious. He was floating there. While Anos was out there, causing havoc and destruction everywhere. He was going to make them believe and show what a true demon lord is. And what kind of mess they created. Konoha was reduced. Its numbers were reduced to mere hundreds from thousands. As the spies from the other villages who managed to somehow escape with bare bruises reported this back to their villages. The other villages became scared of what was happening. A demon lord of tyranny that could kill people on a whim and bring them back to life. They wanted that power, but they were scared. If he could do that, then he could revive himself and kill them again and again. And when the news reached everyone, thanks to Orochimaru that he killed the Nine Tails, the Akatsuki was enraged and was quite scared of his power. Their new goal was, or Obito's goal was to get Naruto's power to revive Rin and kill everyone else. And Nagato has similar thoughts as they all started to march towards Konoha. They were going to form a plan. Many greedy people started to gather and meet. They were going to plan an attack on the family of Trio that they heard from their spies, collected their money and jutsus and left to the Shiogakure's ruins. As Naruto and his family left, Konoha was in shambles. Nothing was left except for Ichiraku ramen stand and Tenden's Waller's shop. Everything was destroyed. The academy, every shinobi was butchered. Those who wronged Naruto in even a smaller bit were killed off. Naruto's friends were alive, but Sakura was cursed and Ino was labeled a bitch permanently. Whenever her father tried to speak her name or any other of her family members or friend, only bitch would come out. This was Naruto's curse for her. She, no matter how hard they tried to commit suicide, they couldn't die. Another Naruto's gift. Their life was turned into living hell, all because they bullied Naruto in the academy for three to four years. They had now had to live forever with this curse. As we go towards Naruto, Naruto was leaving as he felt someone was following him. You can come out now, Hinata, Ano said. Um, Ano, Ano's clan. What is it? I... I kind of love Nard, Kun. I, I want to be with him. Since I'm useless to my father, I, I have nowhere to go. Please. Matta Kun. Really? Yashi is still that stuck up. I thought Hitomi might be able to cure him. You, you knew my mother? Yes, me, her, and another Konoichi from Uchiha clan, Mikoto, were best friends. And not only that, we were rivals and teammates we went on a lot of missions together i knew her very well i'm sorry that she died as hinata started to cry when kushina comforted her as suddenly anos felt unconscious as naruto started to wake up Ugh, where am i as naruto then started to regain his memories that anos left whoa what is going on Kachan, the Tochan, as they started, Naruto started to cry as they hugged him. As Naruto was happy, and then he heard Hinata's confession and passed out again. And after that, he woke up as they were now going back towards the Shiokakure, their true home. As Naruto was no back to his normal giddy self, back in Konoha, a war was declared upon them. Sonade, who was Without harm, sighed. As Jiraiya, whose arm was broken, was there. This is Basunade. We can't do anything. Without them, we're nothing. We need Naruto for this, Tsunade. Are you out of your mind, Jiraiya? Do you want to face that demon lord again? He just butchered our whole village in mere one day. One day, Jiraiya. The past 
three wars, nobody could even do this much damage what the Gaki or the Demon Lord did in one day. I'm not going to send the leftover shinobis there. We have to recover. What about Naruto then? Are you going to let him free? It wasn't his fault. It was ours. It was a mistake that came to bite us in the ass. As much as I hate to say this, but I agree with you, Sonate. But we have to save our village. Konoha was the strongest and should remain as such. I'm sorry, what did you say? As I said, Konoha was the strongest and should remain as such. This was an inconvenience. Inconvenience to the prophecy. We have to remove Naruto. Or have to gain some leverage or control over him. So that he will be loyal to us. Are you out of your mind, Jiraiya? Do you know what you are mentioning? I know, Tsunade. It hurts me for me to say this, too. But I can't let my home village go down like this. Our sensei. Your forefathers worked so hard for this village, not only them, us, Tsunade. Even Orochimaru played a part in protecting it and serving it. He also played a part in its preservation. It led to the part where we became the strongest. Many of the shinobis laid their life down, the White Fang, many other shinobis that died. All their sacrifices are in vain? Can't you see that? Yes, Jiraiya. They are in vain. We tried to manipulate a child. We tried to use him as a weapon, as a bargain chip, our, our own leverage over other villages. But look what happened. The demon lord popped out of nowhere and massacred us. As if Kami is giving us signs, Jiraiya, we should stop doing what we are doing or there will be more dire consequences than this. I'm not going to snub Sonate. Yes, we should stop, said a voice. It was Danzo. He was alive, but in bad condition. Homura was also alive, but barely, as he was on a ventilator in the hospital. As for Kaharu, she died. She couldn't bear the injuries. You know, Sensei left an order, a seal on Naruto that will be activated if he ever tried to go rogue. What? No, there can't be anything like that. Yes, Hiruzen left that. It was a countermeasure if QB ever broke free. As Jiraiya and Hir Danzo did the hand seal. I'm sorry, Sonata, but it must be done. No, stop! As on the way to the show, Naruto felt pain in the back of his neck. I suddenly he fell unconscious. Naruto, what is going on? I suddenly, Anos rose. Those damn idiots! I had enough with them. As a huge magic circle opened above whole Konoha, it was dark, red, burning red, as blood, as every civilian guessed. As they saw a figure flying above it, you have crossed the line. All of you shall perish now. Those who I care have been evacuated already, and it was true. Tenten and her father, Shikamaru and his family, Joji and his family, and Narshino Kiba, Kiba's family were gone, and Guy Lee were gone as well, and some of Naruto's other friends, mainly Konohamaru and Udon and Mogi, they were innocent. As for the rest, they were executed. Oh yeah, Tsunade was safe as well. As Tsunade saw her whole village alongside the people she knew turn into nothing but ash. The village was leveled to the ground now. There was nothing left. If someone came here, they would be surprised. They would say that this land was barren for many years now. At what Nardo had done. As the scenery was completely changed into nothing but plain ground there. As Nardo levitated down in front of the people that he evacuated. As Anos said, let it be known that if anyone crosses Anos Voldigord's path or Naruto Uzumaki's path, they will perish, as had Konoha, as he opened a portal and left. Everyone who was there was surprised. What? Whoa, I, I didn't knew that the Demon Lord bullshit was true, said Kiwa. You dipshit, that was what, what, what we were trying to tell you, said Kiwa's mother. Come on, Kach, and I, I didn't believe you. I was... I always thought that it was some kind of bullshit that you were sporting. 
I thought you were on high drugs or something. Kid, you're on a lot of ground meant when we get a home. And suddenly, they realized they didn't have money, they didn't have anything. And suddenly, a magic circle opened, giving them all the required tools, money that they needed to travel and settle down somewhere else. I guess this is goodbye then, said Tizumi to those who were alive. <sighs> what a drag, troublesome blonde and his family, destroyed everything, just could have given us a shed so we could stay. As a shed appeared there with the Nara symbol. I knew you lazy bastards would complain, so yeah, here you go, enjoy your stay. If you other wants to stay, but the shed disappeared as well, start anew, without hatred, without corruption. I started then smiled and thanked Naruto. Say, what do you all say? Why don't we rebuild Konoha from scratch? As everyone chuckled. And maybe this time around, he might come back. Yeah, he should come back. This is stupid. How come we always blamed him? I mean, the people blamed him. I never did. He was our hero, as the four Tokage said, said Shikaku. <sighs> Seriously, Oaji, you could have told us earlier. Damn old man. As everyone chuckled at the interaction between the Nara family, as they started the village there, the Neo Konohagakure, as Naruto or Onus, Ana smiled at the other side. Why are you smiling, Naruto Kun? Hinata said. Konoha is no more. In its place stands the Neo Konoha Gakure no Sato. As Minato and Kushina smiled, you did the right thing, Naruto. No, what I'm about to do is the right thing. I need to take down Kumo, Kiri, and Diva for what they had done against Uzushi Gakure. And for that, I need army. Army of Uzumakis. And I know where to get them. As he arrived at the entrance, he was surprised, and so was the three fo followers of his, his parents and his, well, Naruto's girlfriend. Yeah, they started dating, basically. The army and the Akatsuki was standing there. Naruto Zumaki, surrender yourself, and we will kill you and your followers mercifully, otherwise you will die. You have some guts, said Anos, as a huge... This time, ten circles, huge, all of them opened, as a huge solar beam was fired, and with a single fire, half of the army was disintegrated into nothingness. It was the Iwa's forces, as Kurtsuchi and Oneki and Kisuchi were the world only left alive. As the beam charged again, and this time it was Kiri's turn. Mei was surprised. She wanted a part of that power as well. Not at this cost. With a single attack, the whole army of Eva was decimated into nothingness. You pest are getting on my nerves, Anna said angrily. I will kill you. Before I do that, I will give you another chance. Go now and never return, otherwise you will face my wrath. Nobody left. Fine, have it your way. I started and smirked as the cannon disappeared. As the portal opened beneath Kiri, you love water so much, right? You should stay there. As it opened beneath the most lower depths of oceans where nobody could swim, as their stomach started to clench in itself, as did their bones, as they were crushed under the pressure under the water. The whole Kiri force was drowned there, in their home territory. <laughs> now, all that left is Kumo. Since you're from Kumogakure, the village hidden in the clouds, how about I send you somewhere where you can fly all you want like the clouds? As Naruto lifted them up with a single hand as the ground began to shake beneath them, as the two other Kages saw as some of the shinobis jumped down, Naruto with a single hand threw the whole part and chunk of land in the air as it started to float, float so high that no shinobi could jump down. Some of them did but it killed them, crushing all their bones with the impact, and soon they were all in space. They couldn't breathe, they died. As the Kages were shocked, and their many shinobis were shocked. You, you think we're scared of you? We have the demons now. Summon them. I killed the Nine Tails. I can kill them as well. <laughs> as the demons arrived, 
the Jinchurikis arrived, as Narada stripped each and every one of the Jinchurikis, keeping them barely alive, as to see that he crushed each and every demon's neck. All the beaches were gone and absorbed inside Naruto. Naruto gained the third eye of the British Sharingan. As does as Magata must appear behind him as well. Hmm. Cool, I guess. Now, what shall we do with you? You three and your ancestors are the cause of such death that occurred wrongfully inside Uzushio Gakure. They were getting too strong. And that is your fear, right? How about I let them kill you? Revive! As a U circle, a black and white, appeared in the ground as all dead Uzumaki's rose one by one. They were almost hundreds of thousands of them. As they all knew what was happening thanks to Anos and regained their composure and memories and saw Oniki, a much older Oniki. You, said Arashi Uzumaki, kill them, as they all charged, butchering the three Kages into nothingness. The Akatsuki were hidden. They were looking at this with awe. Such power. I, I want that, Nagata said. As Naruto appeared behind them, you can't have it. As next time, Nagato blinked and opened his eyes, he was in space. As Naruto threw him in sun, in a burn, in the pits of sun. As Nagato screamed, the original, as its spot fell unconscious there, the original Rinnegan was burned. As Naruto arrived back on earth with a portal, with nothing but Nagato's skull. As Conan screamed and charged at Naruto, but Naruto burned all the papers that were there. Nothing was left of her. She burned and died. The other guards came and were surprised. Their leader was squashed like, bu like a bug. As Naruto turned towards each and every one of them. Leave. Or you will perish like the rest. And that is what they did. They all scattered. But Obito and Zetsu stayed behind. Naruto killed Obito with the help of Rin herself. It was his biggest desire, and he died with it. As for Zetsu, Naruto revived Kaguya, summoning her there and all the Otsuzukis and butchered them. Butchered them single-handedly in cold blood in front of Zetsu, and then split him in half and burned the black half and turned the white half in tree. And in return gained many karma seals and Naruto broke all of them, using them all for his own leisure and power. Naruto became the true eternal supreme demon lord of this realm. But, and the world was at peace. No, not at peace, but at chaos and destruction. But for the civilians and for those who feared the Iron Fist rulement and dictatorship of the five villages, they were at peace now. The thugs, those who did the bad things, left their fields of life and chose some other good deeds to do because they feared what happened to the whole elemental nation would happen to them. The five big villages fell and they could happen to them as well. The only village that remained was Sunagakure because they did nothing wrong and Neo Konoha Gakure and Neo Uzushio Gakure. These three started, villages started to emerge and get more and more missions and became equal level villages. Naruto married Hinata and merged with Anos fully. He could use his eyes as a dojutsu. All this was going well but one person, no, two persons were hidden. One was Orochimaru and the other one was Sasuke. They were jealous of what Naruto had achieved and what he could do. They saw what Naruto did. Sasuke was blaming himself for this power. Blaming himself he couldn't kill Itachi. But for that he was going to get revenge today. He was going to kill Naruto and his family. As he arrived in his bedroom at night alongside Orochimaru, as both of them then suddenly froze. As the illusion vanished, revealing that there was no one on the bed. As Naruto then said, I knew you two would come one day, and I have a surprise for you. As Naruto brought them controllingly into the attic and, saw, and showed them that Itachi was chained there. You wanted to kill him, right? You can't then. 
No, please, Naruto, don't do this. Itachi, I have to. He needs to see this. As Naruto showed Itachi's memories to Sasuke. And his memories and what he did to those people. As Sasuke was surprised. And next thing Sasuke was doing was crying. As Naruto broke the curse mark seal. And then he revived his mother, their mother in front of them. As she hugged both Itachi and Sasuke. But after getting Naruto's memory, she slapped Sasuke so hard that he was on the floor and his tooth was out of his mouth. But Kasan, why? You haven't apologized to Naruto. He's your brother. If it wasn't for him, I wasn't here. Itachi wouldn't have been cured and you wouldn't have been put on a straight path back again. I'm, I'm sorry, Naruto. I, it's alright, Sasuke. I forgive you. Naruto, forgive you. Who are you? I'm Anos. I told you I will come back whenever you need me, or Naruto's need me. As he turned towards Orochimaru, you on the other hand disgust me. As Naruto grabbed the skull of Orochimaru, as Orochimaru started to peel, and then his body started to melt. Nothing remained there, and in front of them, Orochimaru was melted into nothing but skeleton. All his organs melted alongside his skin. And internal organs, nothing remained. As Naruto let the family free, as they also resided in the new Ozashio Gakurai. As new Ozashio Gakurai and Konoha merged, and soon after that, the Asuna Gakurai merged with both of them, earning the new Ozashio city now, the name of the whole new city that was created, and Naruto was the president of it. As everyone was happy and cheerful under his rule, for many years to come as this is where i'm going to be leaving this story off guys i hope you like this one and if you do please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel as this is apollo chiha and i'm signing out peace